Hi guys, my name's Ellie, welcome to my channel, and as you can tell, anytime I have this type of footage, something was corrupted. So, um, I filmed my palette focus yesterday, and I had a nice intro, and it's just all messed up. So, I used the Lorac Mega Pro 4 to make a very nice look. Here is the application, I am sorry that I, for some reason, just, my footage hated existing, so it's gone now. Okay, so the lighting isn't great because it's overcast and rainy, but I still want to do it. I just, I want to use my palettes more. So, uh, I have, um, Clinique City Block. It's a tinted sunscreen all over, and I set that with powder. So we're going to go in with, um, eyeshadow primer because I have hooded oily lids and, uh, freaking need some eyeshadow primer. Do, do, do. And the palette we're using has a cream shade I could use, but since I'm panning a cream shade, and a cream shade is never, like, the fancy part of a palette, I'm going to pull that from somewhere else. Did I tell you what we're doing with it? We're doing the Lorac Mega Pro 3. The only Mega Pro I have, and one of, like, four Lorac palettes I have. Okay, so that's on. Let's start with the cream shade. So I'm pulling that out of the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I've just been... Oh, wait, no. I lied. Urban Addictions. This is a little uh, point perk. I've been using Righteous. Trying to use it up. And we'll just fluff that in here. So, I did a thing last night. Um, I don't know if I've told you or if you figured it out based on, I don't know, clues? I'm sure if you look into videos you can kind of get an idea of where people live. I live in St. Louis, and as it being one of the biggest cities in the area, like, the next one you'd really kind of have to find is, like, Kansas City or Chicago, so... I live close enough that I can kind of get in to the city for things, but also I don't live, like, in the city in the city. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that I see people out doing, because I have people I like on Facebook who are living in the area, because we went to high school together, and they'll go out and they'll do something. Now I'm going to take this very light shimmer Venus from the Urban Decay Naked Basics, and just run that on my brow bone. Anyway, I see these people, like, after they've already done a thing, out and about, doing cool activities in the city that I live in that I didn't know were things. So that prompted me to start looking for things to do, and to be kind of sad about the fact that there's a lot of things around that I don't do, that I have access to these fun, cool things. I'm just not freaking doing them. So, these are the colors we're working with. They're very standard, very brown, very warm, and I want to do kind of like maybe toffee and maple, a little bark, and then potentially do something like pink bronze or rust into olive. We'll see. I want like a, I, I am still feeling the fall, I want the look. So let's start with toffee, which is like a really, really light, warm beige. Looks like that. Do -do. Just kind of fluff that in the crease. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good choice. Um, because Lorac shadows can be a little hit and miss to blend. So just layering them, starting with a really light something and kind of building helps you a lot. Okay, and then, so we got a little, little base down. I want to mix toffee and maple to make kind of an in-between shade. start 
start with that. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so there's a ton of things in my area that are happening and I don't go to. So I started looking them up to be at least more aware of the things in my area. And a lot of them I would find out um, after they'd already been going or after the tickets had sold out or when I had something else planned that was not as, I don't know, not as active, not as social. Because we have a lot of cool things in St. Louis that... I don't do. So last weekend we went to the Botanical Gardens, to the Japanese festival, which I do every year. I don't consider it like a big thing. It's something I like to do, but it's not, it wasn't necessarily accomplishing my goal of like finding the fun weird stuff. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more with that combination and then I think we're going to start just going in with maple and deepening up. This BH Cosmetics uh, fluffy brush number five in the crystal something set um, is actually really good. It, since it's so fluffy, it allows you to really, really diffuse out darker looks and kind of just make a nice gradient. So I saw that the Tivoli, which is a movie theater in the loop in off of Del Mar. Um, which if you're not from St. Louis, you have probably no idea where that is, but there's a lot of fun places there. Um, there's a couple concert venues, there's good restaurants, um, more interesting food choices, some really cool shops. It's like the place that if you're in St. Louis as a high schooler, you will go hang out in the loop. Because it's one of the places that stuff is open really, really late normally and has interesting stuff. So, I saw the Tivoli was doing um, a midnight showing of Spirited Away, which I love. Studio Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I am a big fan of Ghibli and Miyazaki, and it's been a long time since I saw Spirited Away. I think that was my first... That might have been my first Ghibli movie. I think my friend asked me if I wanted to go see it, and I was like, sure, whatever. And I had no idea that it was Japanese, that it was, um, that he was this big thing. Like, I had no idea. But I went to see it because I'm like, sure, fine, it's a movie, let's go. And it was really good, and it, I think that was the last time I, I saw it. I haven't really rewatched it since then, and that was, like, high school or earlier. I'm just taking toffee under my eye to redo all that I did up top below. And so I was like, I want to go see that. I've, this is a thing, I found a thing, I want to go see a thing. So a while ago I, um, I sent out a little thing on Facebook asking people if they wanted to go with me. We got some people together. We're all excited. And that was a month or two ago, and I had kind of forgotten about it. So, actual thing starts coming up. My friend who had said she wanted to go with me was like, Hey, this thing you wanted to do, it's this weekend. We should probably coordinate. I'm like, shit, I should buy a ticket. I, mm. And, like, some of the people dropped out and said it was too late. They hadn't noticed it was a midnight showing. You know, some people couldn't get off work. So we did end up going. Um, it was late. I think I'm then going to start with bark, kind of in my outer corner creasy section. Bark is just, I should show you these gullies as we're going. So we started with toffee, we mixed toffee with maple, then just maple, and now we're going to go with bark. Bark, bark, bark. With that same smaller brush on the top now. Anyway, um, it was really late. Uh, we had some interesting times trying to get people out because one of the people we were going with was closing his job, like his location down, and they don't close until 11, and so we had to, because like 
when they close the doors and when they actually leave are different times. If you've not worked in retail or food service, you wouldn't know that. But the time you close is not the time you leave normally. So we had to go, um, my other friend went in and helped him close it out, get everything done in time. We got there. Um, turns out the Tivoli is awesome, at least for our purposes, and as long as people are still filing in, they won't start the movie. They'll kind of let people get settled, especially because nobody's, nobody should be on a time crunch at a midnight showing. Doo -doo. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is take this very flat brush and run maple and then bark on my lower lash line. We'll see how this works because this is a very firm brush. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, I had a lot of fun. Um, and that was when I was reminded that um, Miyazaki's movies are quite fast paced. Because as we settled in, I was getting sleepy. Let's be honest, I was getting tired. I had already worked a whole day, um, I had gone home, I had done some stuff, I had um, taken my polish off, re-sanded my nails because I didn't dip powder on them and they were lumpy, uh, and then my other friend had gotten off of work so we went to, had to figure out where we wanted to eat because we were going to try and eat and get coffee. She had to go home and let her dog out, we had to go to the place, had to eat, and then she had to go and help them close, and so like from getting off work, because I leave my job at like 5, to actually going somewhere, I had 6 hours. I had 6 hours to fill, which doesn't seem like a lot until you think about, you know, yeah, I've stayed up till midnight a couple times, or, you know, been up till around 11, but that's been, like, me falling asleep at 11, and that is quite different than starting an activity at midnight type things, and there's only so much you can do. Like, I wasn't going to get all the way ready for bed because I had to take my contacts out, and then I wouldn't be able to see anything, and none of my glasses are my right prescription anymore, so I can't, like take my glasses out, wash my face, be ready for bed, just throw on some of my old glasses and go see something. So now I'm going to pick up Olive with this little shady brush. I'll show you what Olive looks like. It is an olive color. Kind of like a really dark olive green. I'm going to put that on the outer half of my lids out here. So yeah, it was it was nice to go do something to see people and like actually do the activities that my city has to offer and feel like I'm doing stuff because I don't know if any of you are feeling it yet, but I, I'm 28, I'm starting to feel like as much as I'm alright with being a boring person, if I, I don't know, if my life is just going to work, watching Netflix, and then going to my boyfriend's house and watching Netflix there. I feel like maybe we could do some more things with it. And what we've gone through lately has kind of reminded me that, hey, maybe we want to do some stuff. Maybe we want to do more with our lives, even if it's just small stuff. Like, let's go hiking or let's, I don't know, let's find an activity that our city offers that's cool and we want to go do. Let's go do it. Uh... We're also going to a late showing of, I guess, not a late showing, um, Ludo is a local St. Louis band, or they were, they broke up. They're coming back together for like a reunion show around Halloween, and they sold out, so they're doing an 11 o'clock show that we are also going to, so that's going to be a monster. I think I want to mix um, Rust and Pink Bronze to make kind of a lighter version of Rust. And put that on my inner half. So let's see what we're gonna do. A little bit of pink bronze, a little bit of rust. Mix them on the lid. Yeah, see, I've been panning the rock shadows and I had forgotten how nice 
the shimmers are because the Lorac palette I've been panning is um, it's all matte. I'm gonna put a little bit of rust right in like the center of the lid or all over because I can't be helped. Um, their shimmers are you can't see it that well because we're not lit well, but they're very soft light, so it's not this. I'm noticing I have a lot of palettes that are actually quite nice for making day-to-day -day office looks. This might be one of them. Like, they're very nice. They blend really nicely. They're not too sticky like the line from where my shimmer ends and my mattes are is not like a distinct spot. It's not aggressive. They just kind of blend into this nice, like, golden hour type look. I'm just picking up some olive to make sure that that doesn't fade off. Because sometimes I end up layering a little far over with my inner half, and it takes away the fun of the outer half. So yeah, it doesn't look like a lot on camera, but it looks really nice and just cozy in person. I am going to take, I think, Bellini for my inner corner. But yeah, so I've been wanting to do more things that are offered in my city. We've got a bunch of fun stuff. We did the midnight showing, and it was really cool to kind of like see a movie I haven't seen in a long time, be up late, be in an area that I've gone to but just don't really spend a ton of time in, and just kind of catch up. We all were talking about when we'd last seen it, you know, all that fun stuff. And Spirited Away is a lot cooler than I remember. Like, there's all sorts of pot spots that I didn't remember what happened that there's plot there that explains it. And settling in, I was kind of tired. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to be drifting off. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be... Mm. And we were watching the movie. It was going, going, going. And I was like, oh man, I bet we're only like... 15 20 minutes in and we'd already watched an hour of it and I was like oh because his movies are really quick paced they do actually just power through there's a reason for all the scenes there's something happening in all the scenes it's not filler there's so much that he wants to tell through his story that he just crams everything in and even if it isn't a major plot point it's something something's happening in all of those scenes and it was really cool to watch and see all the different parts of it and the way that he portrays villains and heroes and just I love me some Miyazaki so um yeah I have to go now though because I'm done with this and I want to do the rest of my face that was really fast and easy and blended really nicely I feel like Lorac shadows are something I used got scared of and then never came back to and now that I have more of a background with more pigment and shadows they're really nice. They're just very quick. Like, I'll give it a quick little edge blend, but nothing's patchy, nothing's, like, out of place, nothing is a sharp line. Like, it's just very soft and cozy. I'm gonna finish up my face, and I'll be back, and maybe I'll have a little less rambling to do? Mm -hmm. So, pull the hair down. Do the finished look. Um, I got my blush, bronzer, highlight, brows, mascara, all the stuff on. And this is the finished look. If my hair would sit properly. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it is, again, a reminder that I should pull this stuff out more. This is... About say, I know it's not the most interesting color scheme. This is kind of the Morphe joke of... 40 shades of beige, but you have more variety than I think is apparent. You've got these, you know, cool toned shades, you've got these mauves, you've got warm tones, you've got neutrals, you've got, you know, the coppers, the golds, the mustards, or not mustards, olive greens, the really dark shades, the really cool shades, like, you've got a lot going in here, and if you wanted to make um, an office-appropriate, more professional look, you could mix all sorts of combinations in here and get a whole bunch of different looks. So, I need to use this more. But yeah, here's what we came up with. I like it. My hair's still stupid, but 
I'm prepared to spend the rest of my day like this. So hopefully this was fun for you guys. Uh, let me know if you have a palette that you want to see this done with, um, me focusing in on it. Um, I have, I got this. This is the Viseart Dark Mattes, but I don't know how I really want to use it. So I might do a play video with this um, because I have been really enjoying shimmers and I don't really know what I would want to do with a mattes that are all kind of mid to deep tones for a whole look. I haven't decided yet. So we will see how that goes. This is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have a specific palette that I might have that you want to see me use for one of these. I'll see you guys next time.